Like I say, man, with all the World War Three shit going on, you got Russia, you got China, you got nukes, you got cyber hacks, you got Israel, you got Palestine, you got protests. With everything, you got aliens coming to the goddamn UFOs, you got fucking, you got everything. And uh, somehow, these coppers, dirty coppers, ah, see, you never take me alive, copper. These goddamn police still find a way to massacre, murder, and kill black people. You would think that these motherfuckers would take a hiatus and focus on some sh important shit. But they say, nah, nigga, it don't matter what the fuck, we in the brink of nuclear war. And we about to go to war with China and Russia and all type of shit going on. But we still going to make time to kill niggas. Oh, we going to find some time to mother police brutality in this motherfucker. I don't understand how these white, these motherfuckers, white people can multitask like I'm going to call them racist ass white people. Because I, I, I always keep telling you that most police is racist. I'm not saying most white people is racist. I'm just saying if you're white and you become a cop, I'm going to assume you racist. Over 70 to 80 percent of police that are white are racist. If you weren't racist, you wouldn't want to become a cop. Or if you weren't racist, you wouldn't be able to stay being a cop. So, right, I'm not saying all white people are racist, but most white cops are. If you, it's a prime position and a prime job for white racists, right? What is the best thing that a white, he don't, that's why they pay so shitty. And that's why all these white people continue to do this job that risk their lives. Suppose You think they do this shit because, oh, the badge and the honor and they love fucking risking their lives for $30,000, $35,000 a year, having to work out there, triple double shifts just to make a, a decent a, a middle uh, class wage. Nah. That ain't why all these white people flock to these uh, police positions. They say, God damn it, we could beat up and kill black people? Shit, I don't give a fuck. I do this shit for free. Uh, why you think police officers is such a low-paying prof profession? They're not in it for the money. they in it because most races are going to be attracted to law enforcement because the system has already been set up to encage black people, to, incarc to, to incarcerate black people, to put us in cages, and, and, and to get away with it with impunity. Right. So if I was a white racist, it would be the perfect goddamn. This is the perfect scenario. I'm going to get qualified immunity. Right. I can't be prosecuted because I got qualified immunity. No matter what the fuck I do, I'm, 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 I'm immune to any type of penalty, impunity. So it's a perfect motherfucking breeding ground for white racists. That's why I'm going to say most cops and most most white races become some type of law enforcement. And most law enforcement is white racist, point blank. That's why they don't got to pay them much. They ain't there for the money. They ain't there for none of that, the benefits of all that. That's bullshit. They there because they get paid shitty salary. CEOs get paid shitty, man. Okay, CEO, correctional officers and police officers get paid shitty for that. For risking your lives and the type of job you got to do, that stress. And, you know, at any moment they say they're, oh, they're fearful for their lives. They can die at any moment. Who the f would do that job for that little bit of pay unless you enjoy doing it for other reasons? It can't be for the money. So what would it be for? Oh, it's because you could brutalize, beat, maim, and kill black men, women, and children and get the f away with it. Most cops are racist. F all this is a few bad apples. No, the f tree is rotten. There may be a few good apples, but if you are a good apple, there's no way you can stay on a rotted tree because eventually if you stay on that tree long enough, even the good fruit is going to turn bad. So my point is most cops are racist. Over 75, 70% of them. And again, if you are going to become, a, 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 there's no other reason to become a cop, especially if you're white. You got many options. Why would you want to become a CEO and a cop and go through all that shit? Unless it's just because you can put your foot on my neck and you get pleasure. Most of these, these uh, well, I almost called them the C word. I'm trying to keep my uh, language straight, but most of these white people get pleasure out of dominating and watching us suffer right so and out of all this shit going on over and over these people keep finding ways to uh literally kill us you would think they'd be worrying about the pandemic you would think they'd be worrying about nuclear war you think they'd be worrying about cyber hackers that are shutting down infrastructure and able to tap into our electrical grid and all this type of shit you would think they'd be worried worried about uh, Russia. You would think they'd be worried about China, North Korea. You would think they'd be worried about the shit that's going on in Israel and, and with the Palestinians and the, and the Israelis. You would think that we have so many other things that they could be focused on and worried about, but they still have time to make sure they put black people in cages and kill us in cold fucking blood and on camera. And not only do it on camera, but hey, make sure you record this. You got the camera on. I want to make sure this is recorded. <laughs> I, I, this is one of this is a this is one of the greatest hits. I'm gonna play this for my goddamn grandkids. We about to kill this nigga. And if you're white and you want to become a cop, if you in favor of cops, or you goddamn feel an affinity to law enforcement, you're fucking racist. And you're gonna have to prove to me you're not racist. I'm not giving you the benefit of the doubt. I don't think all white people are racist, but I think all white cops are. The mass majority of them. It's a fucking racist job.
You know what the job is going to consist of. You see it day in and day out now, twice a week. They're brutalizing, beat, maybe not even twice, every day. It's just the stories we see where they kill us, and then we see the big-ass news stories of the one person that made it to the news that was unarmed and got killed. But every day they're beating on us, they're spitting on us, they're fucking brutalizing us, they're setting us up, they're planting drugs on us. Every day they're doing the shit. Everyone that's heard, there are five or six or seven that ain't. right For every motherfucker that died, there was five, six or seven that got beat the fuck up, got brutalized, and maybe they didn't die. They got no recourse. They're sitting in the county jail right now. You know how many times I've seen officers come to the rooms in the jails and, and, and pull people out and take them up front put them in that fucking chair put the spit bag over their head and proceed to beat them give them body blows and shit i've seen it so many goddamn people come back to the back people come back to the dorm all <laughs> fucked up i'm not giving white people that's po that become law enforcement benefit of the doubt no more that shit i'm not giving you the benefit of the doubt no more it ain't because of that video because i seen y'all motherfuckers in action i seen y'all white people in action man like little skinhead pussies that become ceos and they grow their hair out of shit little white nationalists and shit little pussy ass boys i seen y'all in action i know what it is i've been i've been in there and every every situation i've been to in jail it's been full of fucking white racist cops full of it it might be one or two good cops that's gonna look out and you know be like, ah oh, man, you know, just keep your head down, man. Just you know, it's, I don't know what's wrong with goddamn Joe, or you know, he just like that, man. Just try to stay out his path. They telling me this about their own goddamn officers, right? You might have one or two decent cops, but the majority of these motherfucking filthy pigs and racist pigs, man. I don't give. A that's what it is. How the fuck do you think they're going to stop killing us and you're going to stop having these uh, videos pop up every goddamn day till you get it through your thick ass head? This is what they are. This shit ain't no anomaly. Um, I wanted to show another video, man, getting off the white racist people. <laughs> I'm going to give the white racists a break for a minute. I shouldn't give them no, they don't give us no fucking break. Then I'm supposed to be ashamed or I'm supposed to be like, oh, I, if I talk about white people, they go, I don't give a fuck. If you ain't got no motherfucking problem killing us and I ain't got no problem calling out your white stinking racist ass. I don't give a fuck. It ain't going to be a coming upon me like, ooh, I'm not going to do a live stream and do the, and bring this topic up. I don't want to talk about race. Fuck that. Right? You ain't got no problem going out there killing my motherfucking kids. You ain't got no problem going out there locking up and, and caging my daddy. You ain't got no problem going out there brutalizing my motherfucking you. I'm going to talk about the shit. Don't come in my motherfucking chat. Don't come to my channel talking about something. Oh, you, you know, you shouldn't be talking about racism and, and that. Fuck that. Stop motherfucking killing us. If you want me to stop motherfucking talking about it, keep your motherfucking hands to yourself. I'm just waiting to see when this motherfucker is going to actually motherfucking stop taking the shit. That's what I'm ready waiting for. When the motherfucker is going to stop taking this shit? You're going to die. We're going to die anyway. So at this point, it's just a part of getting strategic and coming together. Because these motherfuckers ain't going to stop on their own, not without a little in incentive. These motherfuckers going to need some incentive, man. They're not going to stop on their own. This Million Man March type technique pro bullshit ain't working. I'm just, hey man, I'm so fed up with this shit, man. It's just really, really frustrating. It don't matter if we on the street, they're going to kill us. This man was already in police custody. It don't matter if we locked up and we're already in police custody, serving our time, they're going to kill us. It don't matter if we got a gun. It don't matter if you got a spoon. It don't matter if you're armed. It don't matter if you're unarmed. It don't matter if you're on your stomach. It don't matter if you're on your back. It don't matter if you're standing up. It don't matter if you're sitting down. It don't matter if you sleep when it came to Breonna Taylor. It don't matter if you're out exercising, going for a jog when it came to Ahmaud Aubrey. It don't matter if you're going to the store to get a snack when it came to Trayvon Martin. No matter what the fuck we do, for any any little justification, they bend over backwards to find a justification in almost every fucking case. I'm about sick of this shit, man. I am so sick of this shit, man. It's getting to a boiling point. Like, it's getting to a fucking boiling point at this point with me. It's getting to a boiling point with me and these motherfucking police, man. This is unbelievable, man. I don't see how these fuck these white people find the time to still do this shit, man. I'm telling you, man. The greatest multitaskers in the world are white folk. They can't take a breather from killing a nigga. Whatever you do, don't run across none of these motherfucking cops because there's a good chance, there's a 90% chance that they're going to be racist.